Exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Pangea project, the Cooperative Global Initiative Government. Now, get in touch with some of our attaches out in Australia. I have I'm circulating a petition to have two to make things. I feel like the only place to work around here is TYM. I don't think so. In China, the only thing I have from the world is the world. Excuse me, do you know what the Lem Clinic is? All of my attention these days. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what the Lem Clinic is? Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Nice hat. I'm here for Evelyn's autopsy report. What? Are you mad? No, just impatient. But that's not what... You were supposed to remember and use the correct expression. Gods, what have I gotten myself into? Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Here. Come on now. Nice hat. Do you have any idea what you're dealing with here? You could get me fired for this. Or worse. You'll be fine. You can stop whispering now. Right. Well, you're not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is. But I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use? Because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. One thousand credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? And what were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. 
No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. Uh, never mind. Just take your money. This report better be worth it. Oh, I assure you it is. Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, right. Nice doing business with you, X. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get... Something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Access granted. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think... If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. Thank <laughs> you. 
Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Malik, I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. What do you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off! I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half million? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. Alright. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place.
You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident, and the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit, and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that baseball bat you keep in your apartment so close at hand. Yeah, likely story, ain't it? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? The police. From the very beginning, you knew you were safe. Because the police could never touch you. Now with your family standing behind you. Alright, Narco. I heard enough of your bullshit. You got a lot of balls coming in here, blackmailing me, and trying to accuse me of murder. Who the fuck do you think you are? Look, I really don't care what happened. Maybe you hit her, maybe you pushed her down the stairs, maybe she fell. But if you're involved, you didn't cover your tracks. And right now, her friends are getting a private firm to investigate the case. This just more of your bullshit? If I was able to get Evelyn's autopsy report, you don't think an entire team of professionals is gonna be able to uncover more? You left enough clues to see from orbit. Your family won't be able to protect you much longer. Are you... You're lying! You're, you're full of shit! Hey, you don't have to believe me. But these professionals, they're not gonna give you the same offer I'm giving you. Right now, I'm the only friend you've got. I'm the only thing standing between them and you spending the rest of your life in prison. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn... That stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and... and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice! She trapped me! She just wanted my money! I would have been ruined! I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Thank you. 
Access granted. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two... Malik. Just watch. I don't... I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She's going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik. Remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. You got a favorite poison? Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But alright, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So, we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip, so she could understand her clients' needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due, but she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes, but it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart, assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly, but we know someone who does, and that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town, a series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yuzhou district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in.
don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! Good job, Lao Wei. I see you found the first relay. Now hack it and turn off its security protocols. Access granted. Good. Second relay is down. Only one remaining. Excellent work. I'm starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. And... I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yuzhao district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes.
Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Well, get out! I told him I won't pay another credit! Look, I know this is not an ideal situation, and I'm not proud that I gotta do this. But Tong's crew wants the money you owe them. Oh, you poor boy. Having trouble dealing with the dirty job you have to do? And I should feel sorry for you? Reality check, taxman. You're here to steal money from me. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tung doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for arguments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate? I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the AUG. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. Look, I understand you were right. I'm not questioning that. But you've been through enough to know the world doesn't care about who's right or wrong. It's all about power. And right now, neither of us have it. As much as it pains me to admit it, you're right. What do you think I should do? I'm just asking you to give me the means to make sure this situation gets resolved. What are you saying? Give up the chip? Give them back what they sold me so they no longer have any leverage? But... but that means... Oh God, you're right. Uh, here, take the chip. They can't tax me for a service I don't use. Oh, I doubt they'll be that understanding. But I'll make sure they leave you alone. You've done the right thing. This was a good decision. Access granted.
你在浪费我的时间。哎。You got a favorite poison? Hey, about that job? You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. Here's Jaya's augment. I guess this means your investment has been returned. What are you talking about? Where's the money she owed us? There is no money. This was not our deal! Maybe not. But think of it this way. Jaya was becoming a problem. I helped you get rid of that problem. This wasn't helpful at all, Guai Lo. You've caused me more trouble than anything else. You can forget about our deal. Sorry, but for the service you want, you damn well better believe I'm getting my full amount of credits. I wouldn't go upstairs if I were you. Why not? Wait, don't tell me. Me and Edgar going at it again? Yep. And you know what that means. Yeah. Edgar in a bad mood. Oh no, don't tell me I left my purse in there with May. I told you! I am not- May, you have a customer. Get to work. You're not a customer, are you? What makes you say that? The way you move. Your attitude. And what's my attitude? Police. A soldier. Someone on business. So why are you here? I heard your argument. What was that all about? They want me to get augmentations. For the customer's pleasure. It's sick. I quit before I ever let them touch me. Sounded like they don't consider it an option. They don't. I am lucky, I guess. I've been here the longest. It has advantages. But the new girls, they're not so lucky. What do you mean? They are forced to get augments. It's very bad. One of the girls who work here, Ning, she has been gone for days. I fear they took her and will force her to get augmented. You seem... You seem like a good man. I am desperate. Please, can you help? I can pay you. Okay, I'll help your friend. Thank you. I knew I was right about you. Mr... Jensen. Mr. Jensen, I fear this little time. You must find Ning before they leash her with augments. Leash her? Yes, they call it that. They leash their girls with augments to keep them under control by supplying neuropazine. I do not know where they keep Ning, just that it is somewhere in Dagong district. A specific location would help. I tell you, I do not have one. But there is a bouncer here, Chuan Li. He works with these people. He will know where Ning is. He goes to the roof to smoke often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. Anything else you can give me? Yes. The men holding Ning. They most likely work with local triad gang here, the harvesters. If you look for some of them around, 
Maybe you find Ning better. Got it. Have you seen Ning lately? Shove off before I shove you off. I'm here to see you. Uh huh. What about? Ning. Open the phone book. Plenty of them in there. Your friends are holding her. I can make it worth your while if you tell me where. Worth my while? Yeah, maybe. Let's see some credits first, the tough guy, and then maybe I'll tell you where to find her. I gotta make sure she's okay first. She'll be a lot more valuable to me and you if she's alive and in one piece, if you know what I mean. I get it. Smart businessman you are. Okay, okay. I'll tell you. They're holding her on a small side street just off the open gutter in the Daigong district. But listen, I didn't say anything, right? You're in the wrong part of town, Lala. No Your friend May sent me. She said you were in trouble. Are you hurt? May? Thank God. And no. No, I'm fine. They didn't touch me. Not yet, anyway. You hadn't come, though. How did you find me? I asked around. I can be persuasive. I... I have to get out of here. You sure you're okay? Can you leave here on your own? Yes. I... Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I need to go. I need to get out of this city. I need to get away from that monster, Chan. Tell me, tell her. Thank you for everything. I owe her, I owe you both my life.
Did you find her? I did. She's safe, but running. I think she plans on leaving the city. She always is a smart girl. I'm glad. I will contact her to make sure she is safe. As promised, here's your payment. If you want more, I have another task. Something suitable for a man of your many talents. Are you interested? My interest would depend on the task. By now, I'm sure you heard of Diamond Chan. He is evil man who feeds off the pain and misery of this city. If we are to stay in peace here, he must be taken care of. You want me to kill Chan? Yes, but you must make it look like an accident or suicide. I'll do it. Good. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. It is on one of the nearby rooftops. Lower hand side is a dangerous place. Simply knock Chan out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. Anything else I should know? Chan should be alone. He is too proud to have bodyguards around. But be careful. Even alone, Chan is dangerous. Got it. Mr. Jensen, remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chan that make it look like murder. Any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps, which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. I will wait here.
Has Chen been taken care of? He's dead. They'll think it's a suicide. Just leave it at that. I'm glad to hear that. Death is not something I wish to treat lightly. But his death does bring me relief. Thank you. Just glad I could help. You saved us, Mr. Jensen. Money does not feel like enough thanks for what you have done. But here's the payment promised. I hope you will be satisfied with it. <laughs>